all right guys what's up how y'all doing today so i'm here in sao paulo in this neighborhood i cannot pronounce the name consolo something like that and i'm walking to his baker that i know about that i love that when i first came to sao paulo but i want to talk to you guys about my experiences in um curachiwa yeah i want to talk about my experience in curachiwa what i thought about curachiwa so but first of all check out this stairs it's pretty cool all right guys so my experience in curachiwa so i went there first for a week and i liked the city i did then after the week i went to florinopolis and spent a month in florinopolis but then i had a decision where do i want to go next so i decided to come back i go back to curachiwa and spend a month there because i just like the city and the, the the environment but i basically just lay low I, I stayed in my apartment and i went to the gym every day just to work out and get my strength back but what can i say about curachiwa it's a city it's a city that that I would say like almost like New York City back in the 70s or 80s which I I was born in 83 so I wouldn't know but the the photos I've seen and the photos of how people dress that kind of stuff so like the the 80s rock kind of uh kind of style I saw a lot of that you know young people wearing that kind of style and just the grunginess of the city but in a good way in a cool way there wasn't much going on though you know it it was safe there is a lot of um, homelessness in brazil that i've noticed but it's not a danger I, don't, I didn't feel i didn't feel unsafe there even here in sao paulo i don't feel that unsafe you know compared to where i, I live in uh in other places but the in the cost of the cost of living wasn't that expensive either um i was basically eating at home cooking in my kitchen all the time but sometimes i went out to eat at lunch and uh the lunches were around maybe five bucks seven dollars or so hold on let me just pay attention where i'm going so i don't get lost check out the surroundings here i decided to walk instead of taking the metro even though the metro is here is amazing the biggest the biggest metro i've ever been in you know here in sao paulo they actually have three stories i went down the metro is underground and then i went down three or four stories further underground i told i told my friend i was in, I was in purgatory <laughs> super nice place i'm kind of going back to my roots with this video the walk and talk tours but whatever let me know in the comments if you guys like this kind of videos instead of me sitting in front of the camera in the, in the apartment but um another thing that that i liked about brazil and this might be a little bit controversial but the mask thing it's not that big here. I mean, yeah, I just passed to someone that's wearing a mask right now, but I haven't worn a mask in the whole three months I've been here. Nope, nobody requires it except there's only a few places. The metro here in Sao Paulo and also one pharmacy in Curitiba. Literally only once I went to several pharmacies. They, the pharmacy told me hey, when I walked in, put on a mask. But what was weird was they had a few workers with no mask on. So it didn't make sense. But the metro definitely... Still requires a mask here other than that nothing no mask it's freaking awesome i know in medellin i'm about to go back to medellin very soon there's still a lot of places still requiring masks even though the mayor the mayor of medellin uh, said that there's no need because they're over 70 percent vaccinated but that's colombia i always say that's colombia you know same thing about things about here in brazil that's brazil right i can imagine anyway so we're walking still and the other thing about about curachiba on the topic of curachiba people are gigantic there i mean huge people are huge there's guys the average i think the average height of there's probably six foot three because there's they got giants there's girls that are my height i'm six foot or five foot eleven and a half and they're my height with normal shoes i think it's the german and the ukrainian descent then descent descent how do you say it what's the word ukrainian heritage or the people that came from germany ukraine and east europe that came over to to that part of brazil they just made massive people man massive i i felt small height wise and big and i'm about 212 pounds almost six foot tall and i felt i felt i felt small that says a lot here in sao paulo people aren't as big as in curachiwa but I'm about 
they're about my size, they're maybe a little bit bigger, but man, I was I was impressed. They got the beautiful trees here too, like in Colombia. And speaking of Colombia, I'm in Colombia. I feel big. I'm a I'm above average size. You come here to Brazil, especially South Brazil, and it's, I'm surprised. It's unfortunate they don't have American football here. Like they do have it, but it's not a big sport. It's not a big sport here. Because if it was, they would do a good. They would do well here. Because people are massive. <laughs> Anyways, off that topic. Let's continue to walk. Check out this building. That's pretty cool with the towel and the graffiti up there. It's pretty cool, man. I'm liking. I, I'm liking San Paulo. I'm kind of wish I would have spent more time because the first time I stayed in San Paulo, I stayed in a more of an outskirts residential area, and there wasn't that much movement in the streets. And then when I, and then when I went into downtown, I went to a Say Station, which is mostly it was. Maybe I went on the wrong day when it, no business were open, but there was nobody in the streets like this. And the only people in the streets were homeless people, and it was pretty sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. But here, in the area I'm staying at, it's nice, man. And it seems like it's pretty safe, and, and there's nice apartments where I'm staying at, so... Yeah, I would recommend this area. Definitely. And like I said, I wish I would've stayed here longer, because I'm enjoying it. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. But if I was ever to come back to Sao Paulo again, I would stay in this area where I'm staying at. Uh, we'll see. I just now started walking. I arrived yesterday. So I just now started walking. I'm going to walk all the way to the bakery I want to go eat my food at. And then after I want to walk to the Mercado, um, the official one over, like the, the, the classic one over, it's called to get the sandwich. That famous big sandwich that I saw, but I was too stuffed to eat. So it is nice here. Wow, these apartments are nice, look at that. Anyways, like I said, let me know in the comments if you guys like this style of uh, vlogging that I'm doing. It's me talking about random thoughts and it's walking around. So I love walking, I love getting out of the apartment and walking. But I'm not going to lie, it, it, it takes a lot to motivate me to do these videos. To, to get out and do them before I do them. But when I, when I turn the camera on and I start walking and talking, then the motivation is there and I get you know excited and it's fun. So let me let me know what you guys like and also what i look at is the uh well i'm running here what i look at is the the views and how the algorithm pushes the video and because my best videos is me sitting down and talking about one topic not just randomly talking you know so we'll see guys we'll see let me know so i see this type of graffiti everywhere on these buildings i'm thinking it's I'm thinking it's gang related. Let me guys know. Let me know in the comments. You guys know, but uh, I think they're tags. But they go really high up in the buildings. Anyways, another thing you guys can, uh, should consider when you come to Brazil, the south of Brazil especially. I mean, we're in June right now. Since we're in the south, southern hemisphere, this is their winter. That's why I'm wearing a jacket. But honestly, right now in São Paulo, the weather is about ooh, 70 degrees. It's beautiful. I really don't need this jacket. But in Curitiba, which was further south, it was freezing at times, man freezing i had to use a heater and i haven't used a heater in maybe six years because living in medellin colombia eh, it's spring you know, eternal springtime it's beautiful you don't need a heater nor uh an ac <laughs> so that was it's been nice to experience this uh, weather changes here in brazil that i haven't experienced in a long time all right so we're walking here also another thing if you guys probably not notice, I'm not looking around all the time like I do in Colombia when I'm doing my videos over there when I have the camera on my hand. You know, because in Colombia, you got the camera out, you're, you're sitting target. Here in, in Brazil, as you guys can see, it's mostly cars that drive. There's hardly any motorcycles. There are motorcycles, but not as much as in Medellin or the rest of Colombia. There are thieves here though. People will steal from you. But it's, they're, I think they're mostly on feet, on foot, like they're walking. You know, so I use, I, I'm always aware of my surroundings. So I know who's around me. And if I see someone coming at me walking, I just walk away. If they start running, I can run away. Versus a motorcycle, you can't really escape that, you know? Hold on. Look at that graffiti over there. It's so beautiful. All right, so what I was saying was, I can see someone, like I see that guy over there from a distance. All right, and I'm watching him. If I see that he's kind of looking at me and he has his hands in his pocket, 
and he starts walking towards me, then I gotta worry. But I can walk. The key is knowing where the hands are. Hold on. Nice. The key is knowing where their hands are at all times. If you can see their hands, you know what they're what they're gonna do, right? If their hands are empty, they're not really a threat. If they're walking not walking towards you, they're not a threat. But since they're on foot, I kind of can see that in distance, I can observe and make my reactions. In Colombia, there are motorcycles. I mean, that's why I'm always like oof, scanning the areas because you never know where they're gonna pop out of. But here is less likely. Not saying it doesn't happen though, it does. And you gotta be careful. And that's why you gotta have, for example, in this situation here, physical fitness is good. Work on your walk and work on your sprinting, your running. <laughs> but if they come up and you can't escape, just give them your cell phone, give them your camera. All right, so anyways, my point is, I feel that I feel safer here in Brazil than I do in Colombia, even though I'm not saying I don't feel safe in Colombia because I love it there and I live there. I'm going back there, but I'm, I'm, I, I'm less on the swivel here, even though I am on the swivel. Let me know if that makes sense, guys. <laughs> anyways, let's keep walking. That's beautiful, that church right there. I'll, fi I'll find out the name, but it's gorgeous and the bakery is right there in front of it so the bakery is called santa teresa with a z i don't i mean i've already seen the church i've been inside it's beautiful and all but that food the cochina that they have it's like basically a drumstick chicken drumstick coated with uh, uh cream cheese and then fried in potato breading oh it's to die for anyways let me go eat that <laughs> all right guys so that church is called the san paulo metropolitana it's a church, it's beautiful. Let's go get the, the food. <laughs> and I believe behind that church is Say Station, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. All right guys, here's the bakery. It's been around since 1872. Santa Teresa with a Z. Delicious, and when you come into the bakery, you got, oh, this is a exit. <laughs> when you come into the bakery, you push up, it's most, most bakers like this, you push the button, you get the ticket, and then they scan it as you buy stuff. You really don't know how much things cost until you pay, right? That's the scary part. But check out all this stuff. Good, look at this. Brazil, man, they do such a good job with baked goods. I'm surprised I'm not returning back to Colombia fatter. It's probably because all the workout I did. But hey, carrot cake is, all, is also great here in Colombia. But what I like, what I like is this one. That one right there. Whoa, that's good. <laughs> all right guys, so here's what I walked all the way for. This one, this one. See that chicken, that chicken leg, there's the bone. It's covered with the potato breading. Inside is cream cheese, inside the, that is the chicken. Mm. It's so worth it. And I got a, a strawberry milkshake. <laughs> Anyways, stay tuned. I have to say that the meal, like the lunches, the normal lunches that people eat here in Brazil aren't anything to call home for. But the salgados, 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 like things like this are great. The, 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 the desserts, the baked goods, the salgados, which are like, you know, salty, things like this are so good. So I'm actually not gonna eat a normal lunch. I'm just gonna eat a bunch of this. My last day in Brazil, eat a bunch of these kind of things and then call it a, call it a day. So not gonna, cause here in Brazil, when you eat lunch at a normal place, they fill you up with rice. Rice is good, but not so good, right? I'd rather have things like this. I can make rice at home, right? Anyways, stay tuned. All right guys, so I already paid and I forgot how much I spent. But whatever, it's on credit. <laughs> Anyways, you get this ticket, right? And you stick it here. And then now you're allowed to leave. Wait, not to leave, there you go. Oh yeah, Lord, for Dios. Anyways, now I'm gonna walk to that, that main market. Hopefully I'll walk this food off and get that sandwich. I'm on the way, I wanna show you guys what the San Paulo looks like. It is kind of dangerous here, you gotta be careful. But, have your wits on you, yeah? Wits about you. <laughs> 